Benny Hannett won half of Queensland versus Paul Gallen. First question everyone wants to know, you're a forward, he was a forward, how hard are you going to run at him? Oh, mate, it's, we all know what he's going to bring, and I think, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert boxer, I never proclaimed to be a boxer, I'm a rugby league player who tried to play as tough as he possibly could, and you saw my fight against Hodger, obviously I didn't have as much preparation I would have liked, but now I've got a lot more preparation under my belt. I kept coming, I'm going to keep coming all day, and I don't think it's going to go the distance, that's for sure. One of, one of us will be going to sleep. What's it mean to you? He's obviously a staunch Welshman, um, iconic in the game. You've obviously wanted to put it on him, obviously playing the game against each other as fierce competitors. Now that you've got the opportunity, what's it mean to you? I just think this is an incredible opportunity right now. Like He's, he's the ultimate athlete. Uh, no one from New South Wales has stood up more for than Paul Gallen has for over a decade. Just consistently gave everything, and then we've seen him do this in the boxing arena as well. I now get the opportunity to go up against him and show what I can bring and uh, how big my engine is, how tough I am. And it, realistically, the, the real winner in this is going to be the fans watching it because it's going to be a spectacle. It's not going to be going to the points decision, that's for sure. It's going to be, you're going to see some big punches being thrown. Who can, who can take them? Uh, both of us are going to definitely land some. And at the end of the day, it comes down to who's got the stronger chin. Mate, he had some pretty good things to say about you. Yeah, and, and back at, I've got plenty of nice things to say about him. I, honestly, like, I, I'm not joking. He, he'd be a fantastic Queenslander. He's tough. He never gives up. He doesn't care what anyone thinks about him. He just constantly uh, works his ring out. And when he steps into the ring or on the footy field, he believes he's the best out there. And, and they're the qualities you want with blokes playing alongside you. And um, you know, We've got our work cut out for us. And it's not like we're both fighting him at the same time. It's just he normally fights 10-round fights. Nothing really changes for him. it be a couple of rounds versus myself and a couple of rounds versus Hodges. It's, um, you know, he's, he's fought professional boxers who have been you know, world-ranked. So he's going to be well-prepared for this, but it's going to come down to you know, who's the toughest of the day. Uh, that, that grit and the origin spirit that is going to be there, the Queensland spirit, where Hodge and I are pairing up. But uh, you know, we're going to have our work cut out. Mate, the punters should be getting in there, putting the bets on and uh, buying the tickets. It's going to be huge, September 15. It's going to be huge. It is definitely. And I, now I, I know Hodjo and Paul both saying that they want to go first against each other, but uh, to be honest, the way I'm going to be making my money is you know, the win bonus, you know, the knockout bonus. So for me to make any decent money to be able to uh, go home with the kids very happy is, mate, I'll be going for the knockout, that's for sure. Going to be tapping big Georgie's pockets? I'll be tapping it hard, definitely. Well, he, he said that I can tap hard if that happens. So, fingers crossed I get to go first and uh, now I can get the job done. Good for me, plenty of money in the back pocket. But uh, if not, I'll definitely soften him up for Hodgie.